Hi guys and welcome to the video. Now in this video we're going to take a closer look at the MB Classic bed bugs. <laughs> So this is bed bugs. It's not particularly common and it's actually quite hard to find one that is complete with all of the bugs. Um, this is probably the best copy of this I've ever had. It is 100% complete and I've just sold it, which is why I'm quickly making this video before I ship it out. There's not a lot of value in it. It's been reissued. You can buy it fairly cheap new. Um, but this original uh, 1980s version um, has a little bit of value, not a great deal. I waited for quite a while to get $14.99 on this. I think that might even be with free shipping. So it's not a particularly valuable one, but if you can find it for 50p or a pound, you know, it's worth having a look at. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll open it up, we'll take a look inside, and we'll see what it's all about. Okay, so inside the box, this is what you get. So you get this big plastic bed, which has two cardboard inserts. This is, this vibrates when you turn it on, I'll show you in a minute, and makes all of the bugs vibrate. Um, this pillow section, this comes out, and that's where the batteries go. So it takes two, two of these large batteries, pop that back in. And you've got on off switch here um, and that's basically the playing board and then all, the other thing you get is four of these different colored tweezers to catch the bugs with and then the bugs four different colors 12 of each when you find these usually as i was saying before it will be missing bugs um, this one happily was complete with all 48 bugs so then what you do, the instructions, as is often the case with MB Vintage Games, they are cleverly printed inside the top of the lid so you don't lose them. Uh, it's a very simple game. You put all of the bugs onto the bed. So all the bugs go on here. And what I thought, because you have green, red, blue and yellow tweezers, I assumed you would have to catch your colour. But how it actually works is you switch it on. I'll show you how that works. Wow. All right, after picking them all up, they're back on. Surely it's not meant to throw them all out. Let's do that again. That can't be right. Most of the bugs just jumped out of the bed. I do remember reading in the instructions, it says, if any of the bugs accidentally jump out of the bed, then they're out of play. But I've had it on for about five seconds and there's only about six or seven bugs left. That can't be right. I've just noticed at the end of the instructions, to make the bugs jump more or less, uh, you can adjust, okay, you can adjust the curvature of the bed to make them jump less. So let's do that. All right, bear with me. Okay, so I've now made the bed more curved, so it should bounce the bugs less. That's better. So, as I was saying before, I thought that the, the game would work that if you have the green tweezers, the object of the game is for you to pick the green bugs out. But actually what happens is you nominate a color and then you all grab to try and get the bugs of that correct color. When all of those bugs of that color have gone, you stop and then another color, color is nominated and it carries on. And at the end you count up the bugs. So. That's how it actually works. So let's have a go, see how difficult or easy it is to actually catch bugs. So let's say for argument's sake, we went for green first. So I'll try and catch some green bugs.
Okay, that wasn't too easy. And I can imagine if you had other players all leaning in trying to catch the same colour bugs, that would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. So, yeah, that's it. It's very simple, very easy to set up. I can see why the bugs get lost because if you do have that bed set really flat, it flings the bugs everywhere. So yeah, I can understand why they get lost. But yeah, it's a fun game. If you do see it and you do pick it up, have a play because I, I can imagine, especially if you get the four players all doing it at once, it'd be a good laugh. So that is bed bugs. Let me show you the box again. This is the, the first edition as far as I know. This one's from 1985 and yeah, just about worth picking up. As I've said, I just sold this one on eBay at $14.99 with free shipping. So there's not a great deal of value in it. I think there is a listing on Amazon for this original vintage version, but it gets very few sales when I looked into it. Um, so I put this one on eBay and it took quite a while to sell and only for £15 free shipping. But there you go, that's bed bugs. Let me know below if you remember this from the 80s or if you've played the modern version of this. And let me know what you think. Thanks for watching guys, take care.